Thus, from the moment those first parents stepped out of the Garden of Eden, the God and Father of us all, anticipating Adam and Eve's decision, dispatched the very angels of heaven to declare to them and down through time to us that the entire sequence was designed for our eternal happiness. It was part of his divine plan which provided for a savior, the very son of God himself, another Adam, the apostle Paul would call him, who would come in the meridian of time to atone for the first Adam's transgression. That atonement would achieve complete victory over physical death, unconditionally granting resurrection to every person who has been born or ever will be born into this world. Mercifully, it would also provide forgiveness for the personal sins of all, from Adam to the end of the world, conditioned upon repentance and obedience to divine commandments.